So, Lucas, when you were living with your mother during this time, uh, was it just you and your mum? Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, I kind of basically became her carer. I mean, I was going to school at the time, but she kind of required me to be at home more of the time. So I kind of started, stopped going to school and started staying at home, helping her. And I was just kind of doing things like I'd help her do washing, I'd cook, clean, go out, do shopping. She would expect me to like help clean her sometimes. And when I would kind of refuse, it would start arguments. Because she kind of, she, she had carers, but she didn't like them kind of helping her. She saw them as being like terrible. It, it was just a mindset. So I was the only one. You were the only one that she trusted? Mm-hmm. They actually got to a point where she wouldn't let me go to school or go out. There was a very funny moment where I had to kind of climb out of the balconies and climb down four <laughs> floors. So uh, I think it's fair to say that Huntington's disease has affected you uh, educationally? Yeah. I mean, I, there was um, an organisation called the Young Carers um, Organisation. I don't know if you know it, but... Um, they helped me kind of when I was living there. And then I kind of, when I moved out, I decided that it was about time I kind of sorted out my education. So I got involved in um, a course at Croydon College called Bridge to School, which I absolutely hated, but it helped kind of uh, bring me onto the a GCSE retake course and where I am now, which is a course in IT. So essentially you had to play catch-up? Pardon? You had to play catch-up? Yeah. <laughs> 